So, Jasmine, welcome. Why are you here? Robert, today I'm here to kind of confront my friend and kind of also let her know the dangers of the things that she's doing regarding her spending habits financially and then her getting money from these guys. It can, you know, come back to hurt her in the future. And in, in certain situations, if you try to get something for nothing, um, somebody could come back and hurt you, think you're trying to play them or run game on them or something. So, you know, and that's my major concern right there. So, you say that she has sugar daddies or... or tricks to pay for it. Well, right, how? right. So, um, basically, an example is maybe we'll, we'll go out to a club or something like that, and maybe some guys at the bar buying us drinks. Um, she'll leave with one of the guys and say, well, hey, I'm, you know, going out back or something like that. I don't know what she's doing, but every time she leaves with the guy, she always come back with a gift, whether it's a new outfit, a bag, a car, some shoes or something like that. Wow. So, it's just like... You know, you have to be doing more than talking to these people to be getting all of this stuff from up out of them, so... So she gets cars? She has gotten a Mercedes before from someone. Yes, she has. Wow. I'm sorry. Uh, I know persuasive people. There is always giving something in the long run somewhere. Right, right, right. Well, basically, she explains this to me to where it's, as soon as they ask her for something in return, she drops them, lose their number, and then she goes on to the next man. So it's just like, they never really have her real name or her real phone number. Um, so it's like, you know, she's always a different person when she goes out, just in case she has to immediately drop them. So do these men that she gets all these gifts from know each other, or are they just... No, they don't know each other. These are just random people. I hate to say random Johns, but to me, basically, that's what they are. <laughs> well, I'm interested, I'm interested to meet this young lady. Erica, come on out here. First of all, let's be clear. I don't know nobody named John, so you can miss me with that, with the John stuff. Girl, whatever. So, if, if somebody want to give me stuff, they can give me stuff. All that John, you trying to make it seem like I'm a prostitute. No, if I'm sleeping with you, you my boyfriend. And I all y'all done slept with your man for some money, miss me with that rap stuff. So, that's how that go. Who made? So, hang on a minute. Uh, welcome to the show. Hello, how you doing? I, I... So, so... Somebody gives you a Mercedes. How does that work? Yeah. I'm just, I'm, because I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> if I can get a Mercedes, for boy, I'm in. You just got a Mercedes out of nowhere. So, and so, you just... what, what type of Mercedes was it? It wasn't nothing major. It wasn't in like. But, you know... they, but you didn't have to pay for it, right? Somebody give no. it to you as a gift. Right. Okay. So what, what does this? What do you do for this person to get that gift? I mean, I might go to dinner with you, give you a little gift to Gab. I don't, if, if you're not my certified boyfriend, we ain't no need to sleep with you for no money. So, okay. but I'm just saying, nobody's just giving up those kind of luxury um, items nobody without nothing for something. Say, I didn't right, say they, they don't have to you give me anything, baby. Yeah. I live with yeah. a yeah. baby yeah. home. Yeah. I am married, yeah. and yeah. I have yeah. everything yeah. that I need. Yeah. So I don't yeah. need yeah. you all yeah. that. I'm yeah. your American girl. What you worried about this one? Because I'm your friend. I'm your friend. So, so you're not you worried. Don't be, they don't be saying that when they drinking the drinks that they getting from the men. Drake they ain't got nothing to do. I'm saying right here in front of everybody else drinking those drinks. When, when we're I'm not behind closed doors drinking, drinking drinks. So I'm saying all this day you're, you're, you're not doing it. Obviously you're not doing something. But like what I'm saying, you ain't saying nothing about that when you get your little outfits. When we go out of town, you're riding. You're not saying I don't want to go. It's not nobody's business until she asks us to do something. You don't want to go. Yeah, you. If you don't condone it, don't condone it all the way. Don't let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm just curious. Oh, oh, okay. I don't ask you. Okay. I don't ask you. Okay. You, you can, I, I just... I don't ask you. Anybody. Anybody got a drink? I am just curious. I'm just curious. I am curious if any of you think I can understand anything you just said in the last five minutes. <laughs> because if I can't understand it and I'm two feet away from you, how do you expect my guests and my audience to hear this? <laughs> the question is, are you worried about your safety when you go to dinner or you meet these folks? No. Okay, so if you say no, I want to ask you, why do you change your name and your phone number every time you do that? Because they're, they're, you're using them. This is, this is 
a job okay. for me. That, okay. I, I'm acting at that point. Okay. That's a job you, for you just me. said that's a job for you, so yeah. you're not worried that one of them is going to come back or it's two of them. It's a job. I'm acting at that point. Where you working? Oh, okay. Where okay. you working? Okay. But you're not worried about your safety, is what I'm asking. No. So you like the finer things in life, right? I, I, and no matter how you get them, you're going to get them without without having sex, right? So how much in debt are you? Who knows? I'll say... <laughs> how much you... All right, if you don't know that, how much you spend on a typical shopping trip? Anywhere from three to five. Yeah. Thousand? Yeah. So... So on Black Friday, how much did you spend? I want to say eleven to twelve thousand, but they had a lot of sales, so I see, I saw eleven to twelve thousand. Have you ever not paid your rent and been evicted? I've never been evicted. I've not, I've not paid my rent. <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Because I'm confused. Been, I've never been put out. But if you don't pay your rent, what happens? You get evicted, and when she was evicted before, and she also had her car I taken from her when so she tell me was what not you able to make her payments. Just go tell ahead me what you was not evicted. Tell me what happened. What happened was when I, I paid the portion for when I was late, and I just went ahead and broke the lease and got another apartment. That's where some of the money. Why would you? Ca- why would you pay anything if you're gonna leave? Why are you answering a question? That why would you pay? Why would you pay, why would you pay anything? You can Concerned? Is you concerned or you spitting tea? Tell me what you want. Is you concerned or is you pouring tea? Why would you pay anything? Girl, sip if on that cup. Why would you pay about? anything sip if you're planning on leaving? What we talking about, bro? So, sip on that cup. So, what we talking about? Is it true you've lost friends over your shopping habit? I mean, you could say that, yeah. I want to bring out one of your friends, Monique. Oh. Monique, come on out. Your money. Welcome. So, so, Monique, what is your relationship with Erica? She and one, was one of the ex cast members in the Erica show. That's Hollywood. Baby! The Erica okay. show? What was the Erica, Erica show? The, my reality. Oh. What's going on right up in here? I used to work with her. So, why, why are you not friends with her anymore? because she owed me money. We started as co-workers and we became friends, close friends. And I did something I thought a friend would do, help a friend in need, and come to find out she was a con artist, she was a scam, she had no intentions on paying me my money back. And you know it. So how much, how much you money? How much money did you give her? Watch your wallet. Watch your wallet. She'll take your too. When we... I loaned her almost $2,000. $2,000. But you driving Mercedes, but you can't pay little old Monique back. That's what I'm talking about. But had you not charged me up the way you did in front of the people, you might have would have liked to have your money back, but I don't know. But how was I supposed to ask you? Girl, you come at me. How was I supposed to ask you? If we're friends, you could have called me and asked me your money. So, Erica, 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 did, Erica, did, Erica, I'm for Erica, did money for loan you the money? Why? Did she loan you the money? Yes, yeah, she gave me some okay, money. Okay, so why have you not paid her back? Because she asked me in front of a mixed crowd, and she got all irate. Right. I'm asking you in front of Robert. When am I getting my money? Come get your money. Come slide over to the house and come get your money. So you have the money? Which house? So you have the money? She can, she can meet you there. She can meet you in my outhouse where she can meet you at. Six bedroom that you paying all the bills for. Yeah. What you said, Robert? <laughs> she lent you money to pay your rent and to pay your car loan, right? Yeah. Or pay. Did you even use the money for that? Gold did digger. You, what did you scammer? use it for? I, scammer. When you give me the money, it's mine. When you give me the money, it's mine. So don't ask me. What, what did you use the money for? When you give me money, it's but fine. What, so you ask her it to help for, you. It went for the rent in the car, but she, she asking all She's good for nothing. Like... She probably wouldn't got a body done or something with that money. It's no telling. It's, it's no telling. How did that, how did that affect you when you Robert, did it? Robert, I'm a single mother. I have, I have bills. I have kids. I, I almost lost my apartment behind her. So we both about to get evicted. That was, so why would you give away money if you knew you was going to lose because your Because I thought you were a friend. That's I what thought you were a friend. Sister, you keep right, saying, why? Because they ain't nobody talking to you. It don't matter. It don't matter. 
So anyway, we came here. We came here for answers, right? I really can't whoop her ass because she's been done to me. It seems to be a habit with you about changing your number and name and disappearing. So why did you disappear on Monique? Monique was calling up. She didn't want that beat down she was gonna get. Oh, she want okay. her money. That's why she oh, called okay. obsessively. She has kids to take care of. I mean, what you not gonna say? Why she has kids for herself just like you ain't even that hard by yourself? Your team don't matter. You ain't even that hard by yourself. You ain't even that hard by yourself. You ain't even that hard by yourself. No, it's not my husband. Not the bad bill. No tea, no tea. You you yeah. Well, we came in for answers. So we we get we ask Erica, did you use all the money that Monique loaned you for your rent to actually pay your rent? Erica said yes. Lie detector determined that was a lie. Sorry. But listen, I'm saying I paid for it to, to get to break my lease. Okay. Why do you have an answer so for everything? Do you hear what I asked? Because they questions. Which one? You're good for nothing. You're good for nothing. But why borrow the money from me? I, I don't make all why that you money. money. Why for you didn't get the money from me? Your, your guys. Oh. oh. We asked you. Erica, have you ever had sexual intercourse for money? Ooh. Erica said no. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Tate determined she was telling the truth. Hang on. Girl, hang what's your fault? And talk to me tomorrow. That session's wrong. Listen to this. What's, what's the question? I know we got one more. I look as good as her. Nobody buy me a Mercedes. Well, you got I look as good as her. Mercedes. Where my Mercedes? 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 Last question. We ask Erica, have you ever performed or received oral sex for money? She said no. <laughs> Lie detector determined that was a lie. So it doesn't matter to me whether you pay or you're friends. Sorry you lost your money, money. You were silly thinking she was a friend. She's not. Right, right. right? So cut your losses and move on. Your, your interest in your friend being safe, no. don't bother about it. Because she's going to do what she's going to do anyway. Right. Right? I wish you the best of luck, all of you. You're not getting your money back. Don't worry about your friend. She doesn't care about her safety. You shouldn't have to. Stay with us. We'll be right back.